Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my first thoughts on the After Hours DLC. We haven't uh, really gotten anything in the update yet, but we have the most important stuff, which is the nightclub, in my opinion, because that's the way you make money in this update. Uh, it isn't the best, um, but it does make some decent money. The paywalls are massive to make any real money with this update. You're going to hear a lot of paper. I, again, I have seven pieces of paper here, front and back, so you're going to hear them. Uh, but first, you have to have at least 50000 to become a VIP, but four hours is not enough for this business. Not enough time at all. So you have to have an MC Clubhouse to even start the nightclub, money-making-wise. You have to have at least $200,000 to for a clubhouse um, to get the ability to even be an MC. You have to buy the nightclub, which can run up to five million, not counting upgrades from the computer in the nightclub. I checked the screenshot I had earlier. I spent four point nine five five million dollars on my nightclub just on the website. I also have upgrades in it beyond that. Uh, we have to pay a lot of money to even buy into the update. Uh, you can now start your nightclub uh, and can make money though once you have your uh, MC or CEO stuff you have an office and you can be a CEO then you can uh, do your nightclub stuff it will actually let you sit down at the computer uh, but to make any somewhat decent money you have to have an MC business and that can cost you almost 3 million on cocaine uh, so we're spending a lot of money to even buy in to the real money to make but you have to buy at least one basement storage area to make uh, decent money because without that um, you make ten thousand per day in GTA. Ten thousand dollars is nothing. I spend more than that. Uh, I spend more than that on bills every day. Than uh, yeah, I just spend more money. Than, I spend more than ten thousand on bills every day alone. Uh, I spend over twenty k on MC businesses per day. So that ten k just gone real quick. My bunker's 9400 and my mechanic is 850 I'm already over $10,000 right there. Uh, if you plan on using the club as a money laundering, you have to have the businesses, uh, which is understandable, but still, it is a paywall. I understand they're not going to give you product that you don't, you know, you can't make. They're not just going to give it to you. But uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm not 100% sure on this, so don't quote me, but if, you, or if your business is out of supplies... Like, my, say my counterfeit cash is out of supplies, for example. Or it's maxed out, like, I can't put any more supplies in there. In product. Then it won't, you know, it'll stop. But I'm not sure on that all the way. Uh, and the laundry, we'll get back to this. The money laundry uh, takes forever to build product. Like, you wait forever. After a while, you wait uh, for the head-to-head -head free uh, vids to pop up and to uh, deliver whatever you have to, which you just go basically here. It says, here's a cargo, go get it, or go kill these people to see, find the cargo, and then go get it and take it back. Watch out, other people can kill you. I think it's called um, business battles, is what I believe it's called. But the problem is that everyone in your lobby can attack you and destroy what you have moving or take it from you. Like earlier in the day, I took some products, and there's two duffel bags. I took some. This other dude took some. I killed him. We fought a little war over it. And I took it and I got it back to my clubhouse. Even though he got it all the way to the city and just a few blocks away from my clubhouse. I took it from him. Not my clubhouse. My nightclub. I still took it from him. And he lost, you know, all his time basically. Uh, uh, and if someone kills you or blows that thing up that you wanted, then you've been denied uh, of making, you know, money temporarily, because whenever you bring that stuff back, it gives you money, it doesn't give you money, uh, I think it might actually pay you a little, like, $2,500, $3,000 or something like that, but, uh, it adds to your basement stuff, so, you know, you're technically losing a little bit of money there, and you know, the nightclub doesn't make much money, it needs to be run with other businesses in order to make any real money, you're unable to make uh, your money back quickly 
if you only run the nightclub, but you eventually will. Just like every business, you eventually get your money back. It just might take forever. Uh, if you don't, if you just run solo the nightclub, you're not making a lot of money. I'm telling you that now. The nightclub is a very expensive business in order to buy into and run in order to make money. The nightclub is really only for people that have a few businesses. Like, I me, mean, I have every business in the game. I have. I have uh, crates, import, export. Um, I have crates, import, export. All the MC businesses. Bunker. I don't use my document forgery, though. But I have the bunker. I have the hangar. I have uh, every business. I have the nightclub now. I have every business in the game. Uh... If you have, say, three businesses and the CEO of Cargo, you still have to pay money in order for your workers to get the goods that you need to make money. And say you have a bunch of, you still have to pay for the people to actually acquire the goods that you want. And they are very expensive. Over a hundred grand to, um, crap, over a hundred grand, like I think a hundred forty one was some of them for me. Uh, Tylerius said that they could cost upwards of three hundred grand. I'm not 100% sure on that, but he doesn't have a reason to lie, really. But uh, basically, 300 grand for some workers that I've not made my money back on buying the workers yet, you know? And I played it all day. I had my GTA running. So what that means, though, is that the business is blocked behind another paywall on top of what they already had. So the fact that Rockstar put the DLC behind so many paywalls shows that they designed the update for people that already had good money and businesses. Uh, also, these little shots are you see, that's $150,000. It goes $30,000, $50,000, $150,000 for shots. That's kind of stupid. I think you get special animations, though, if you pay. Uh, anyway, the fact that Rockstar has so many paywalls, though, shows that they designed the update for people that already have good amount of money. Or they design the update for people that are on the other side of the fence and have no money but do buy shark cards. Because they have to buy a shark card to get the nightclub. Then they have to buy a shark card to get the businesses to actually run the nightclub with. Uh, but now I'm going to kind of cover more of the positive side of the update. Let me go and get these papers closer real quick. But the nightclub doesn't really take over your other businesses, which is one of my fear fears. Basically, once you got the nightclub, that your other businesses would no longer matter. It was, oh, well, you know, you bought them. Now they mean nothing at all. Uh, it allows them to do, you know, cook their own product while you're doing your nightclub stuff, which is good. Uh, even though my nightclub is cooking product for me from the, say, the cocaine business, my cocaine business is actually cooking product, too, uh, which I think is pretty cool. If you bought all five people, or however many you had to buy, I think it may have been four. I think you automatically got one guy. But you had to buy some people. I know that. I have them on cargo, weapons, South American imports, which is cocaine, pharmaceutical goods, which is, what you call it? Pharmaceutical goods is meth. Uh, cash creation is counterfeit cash. And the weapons is called sporting goods under the uh, thing. Basically just trying to clear it up and they threw some jokes in on there uh, so basically I have it on things that allow you to make the most money normally if I did crates I'd be making better money than any other business that's on that list uh, if I had bunker you know I have better I'm making better, more money than all the other passive stuff cocaine's the best MC then it goes meth then it goes kind of a cash then weed then document forgery but you don't have seven people, you only have five. And the business must be active. It can't be shut down or else you won't be able to have the worker get the goods you need. The game will not allow you to. I had, I have the document forgery, but I never have it run unless it's double money because it does not make me enough money to actually motivate me to run it. Um, you can also make $10,000 though, depending on your popularity per in-game day. You make $10,000, it goes into your wall safe and while it's not real good money because if you're if you have a nightclub you're probably just throwing that out every day your wall safe holds seventy thousand dollars so in seven gta days you have uh, acquired you know a full wall safe congratulations um from what i've seen though the head-to-head -head missions i'm going back to head-to-head -to -head missions 
uh, can't help you with the laundry. It gives you the product that you need in order to make money. And the missions are fun. And when you have other players competing with you, it's more fun, in my, my opinion. Because that's what happened earlier, and I love that. The nightclub has you do promotion missions so that you don't lose your popularity and lose the money that would be going to your wall safe. If you go a certain, if you go down a certain amount of popularity, then you start making nine thousand. Then I imagine it goes eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I don't think no. If it goes to one, I doubt it, but it goes down and down and down and down, um, by a thousand. So just always trying to watch out for that if you care about it. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure what happens if you lose all popularity, but I don't know what happens with that. But from what I can tell, Rockstar did a good job of making the business a passive one and an active one, in my opinion. They have the business battles pop up and allow you to become active and deliver the cargo directly, but you have to compete for it a little bit, but you don't throw any money into it. Uh, they also have the promotion missions that help you make um, more money, or maintain money would be a better way to say that, is maintain making 10000 a day. Um, but they still allow for you to keep the nightclubs as passive money method too. The fact that they allow you to upgrade the cell vehicles and give you the chance to make the vehicles better offensively and defensively, in my opinion, is just pretty good. Because if you could upgrade the post-op vans and the MC stuff, man, that would be a lot better. The Speedo is uh, upgradable. The I think the Speedo comes with the nightclub though. If you buy a garage, the mule, um, you have to buy. I don't know what the price is. Uh, and then the, uh, what is that called? Um, Pounder Custom. You have to actually buy again also. It's not something that they just give you. Uh, these cell vehicles are able to be upgraded and driven around in free mode. Uh, the vehicle little workshop thing that that just comes with the garage thing. These vehicles, like I said, you can drive around in free mode. In free mode, they take on explosive. During a cell mission, uh, Tyler said uh, it, they take 8 to 12 RPGs. I have not tested that out. I've only tested them in free mode. Um, and the promotion missions are somewhat fun, and they definitely change the pace up. That may be why I like them, though, is because they're new. They're not, you know, maybe not be not so good, but they're just new. And I can see the nightclub missions getting annoying, though, uh, because, you know, they're popping up randomly, and then you have to, de you know, keep your popularity up and all that. I can see that getting really, really annoying. The cell vehicles, I haven't really played around. Now we're moving on to the vehicles. This video is very quick. I feel like I talk fast during it. The cell vehicles, I haven't really played much around with. I drove the uh, Speedo around earlier. It was kind of fun. And I think I may have drove the Pounder around a little bit earlier too. <laughs> the Mule I haven't even taken out. But uh, I can't tell you the new limo is fun to drive around and has a lot of customization in it. It can be used to mess around. Um, it's cool because you can upgrade the lights on the inside limo and they flash and they make little streaks and all that. Kind of like a neon light in a way. It's pretty cool in my opinion. If you have enough money to where it doesn't matter that you bought the waste, the, you know, limos, you know, just there's no point in it. You know, it's whatever. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Jester Classic is a very fun car to drive around in. It has pretty good speed and uh, pretty decent handling. It's not the best sports car, though. The Pry is still the fastest uh, car released in any DLC without a rocket. I feel Rockstar should have just put the Jester Classic in the Sports Classic, but I don't know how balanced or unbalanced that would make uh, that class, even though the Pariah is honestly the most overpowered car in the game. It should be a supercar, even though it still would be the fastest car in the game. In the Sports Car class, it's not a fair race for the racers out there. It's not very fair, you know. Uh, but the Swinger, I really like, and I love the way it looks, and uh, it's really fast. If I'm not mistaken, the acceleration's already maxed out before you even upgrade it. I might not be right on that, but uh, it's very fast. It has very good top speed. It accelerates crazy. Um, I love the look of it and all that. It has decent customization, too. The Party Bus is a vehicle purely for messing around. You're never gonna. It doesn't have a practical purpose. 
it allows people on top of the bus on the stage and it allows people inside the bus obviously uh, and you can play music on the huge speakers on top that uh, other players can hear that stand around it uh, anyway that's really all I got for the update oh I spent 40 million today I spent 38 million on the update and other cars that I've been wanting for a while Honestly, I'd say about 10 million, not 10, 20 million of that was toward the update. And I upgraded some Benny's cars, and I bought some other cars and upgraded them all the way. So, you know, I can't really tell you how much went to the update, how much didn't. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the DLC and make a lot of money from the DLC. I hope you come back to the channel for more content, and I hope you like what you see. Anyway, have a good day. See you guys in the next video. And bye. Shit, no, well. Controller was off. Give me a minute. Yeah.